Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and I already know that you are going to judge me. But if you are watching this video, that means you are now LFR family. You're part of the you're part of the gang, gang, gang. You might as well say gang, gang. Um, L F L F. How do you do R? I forgot how you do R. But anyway, y'all are part of the gang now, man. And y'all are going to judge me after this video. Because Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens are talking about how porn is destroying this society. That's what they're talking about. They're saying that porn is, 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 is everywhere. And I, I agree with them. I definitely agree with them. Because everywhere you look, you see some twerking, you see some ass, you see some booty shaking, you see a nice rotund backside, you see... Um, people dag on doing dances to to R. Kelly, and we already know what R. Kelly did, but you know what I mean? It's out the window because it's a dance to it now, and it got a sexy person doing the dance and all that other stuff. And um, and and Ben Shapiro and Candace are they right, man? It's it's ruining the society. You can't look anywhere, not Instagram, not TikTok, not Facebook, not YouTube. YouTube, oh my gracious, my. God, I don't know if you ever looked up. Have you Googled yoga before? Someone told me at my job when before I retired, shout out to YouTube, before I retired like a year ago um, in May, um, I was doing yoga with one of my coworkers, um, white lady. And I had to, to say that because I just want to make sure I paint the picture because she does yoga and they used to teach yoga in the gym on DOD, I was working for Department of Defense and they used to give us an hour a day mandatory that we had to do something, walk around, go to the gym, do something active, you know? Um, you can break it up or do it all in one walk. But anyway, I would go to yoga and I thought it was some punk stuff, man. I thought it was punk. I was like, man, I'm just gonna go, you know, do a little Benny Straw here and there and blah, 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 you know what I mean? And, and be up out of there, just stretch. Man, it was so hard. I felt like I was about to die up in that dream. I felt like I was about to die. But anyway, right like a few months ago, I was thinking about getting back into yoga again. So I Google, I YouTube search yoga. Oh my goodness, what came up? What came up? I felt so bad, man. I, I When I was watching it, I, I promise you, I was looking over my shoulder trying to make sure that my wife wasn't coming because it's yoga. You'll have to see it for yourself. You're going, I'm not about to show it right now. Go see it for yourself and you let me know. Don't go right now because we about to hear what Candace and Ben Shapiro have to say. As they said, everything about the internet is porny. It's pornish and it's pornacious, okay? And I don't know if any of those words are actual Webster words, Webster approved words, but guess what? We about to hear what Candace and Ben have to say, because apparently they are much closer to God than I am. You're not better than me, Candace. The mainstreaming of pornography really is an amazing story because the fact is that back in the <laughs> 70s, the feminist movement said pornography is exploitative because it obviously is. It is pandering to the worst in men. It is pandering to male desires. It is, it is causing women to have to exploit their bodies in order to get attention. This is all bad. And then the feminist movement shifted in the 80s and 90s, and suddenly pornography became empowering. In fact, you'll have you know Hillary Clinton going around the country and doing doing... TV series on gutsy women and the people that she's interviewing very often are people who are exploiting their bodies, obviously. And it's wild because this lady would never, she, she's encouraging everybody else to be, be more, you know, be more expressive as a woman, be more expressive as a woman. And you can't ever find her ass in anything but a pantsuit. When are you going to be more, more expressive? <laughs> That's not funny. That's not nice. Pantsuits are nice. Pantsuits are nice. Van, pantsuits are nice. For, for fame and fortune, it's, it's an amazing, amazing shift. And meanwhile, you have an entire, I would, I would say it was a subpopulation, but I, I would imagine now it's probably approaching a majority of the male population of the United States that if not addicted to pornography, uses pornography regularly and has this you know, made men stronger, has this made marriages stronger. And then we look around and, no. and the media are decrying toxic masculinity. It's like, well, you, you guys really created the forces that unleashed a lot of this. Now, before Candace comes in, I do want to say this. At one point in my in, in my life, I thought that porn would make a marriage stronger because I thought that you'll be able to, um, you know, look. You don't have to step outside the house in order to, uh, you know what I mean? Because that's not what you want to do. Well, what happens is 
porn paints an extremely um, false reality. <laughs> and they, they have you thinking that this is how you're supposed to look when you have sex. This is how you're supposed to sound when you have sex. Um, um, this is how much you should want it. I mean, you should never say no. You should always be ready. You should do it anywhere and everywhere. Um, that is as, is as common as a handshake. Now, what happens is when you start looking at those type of movies, you realize, hmm, that's not life at all. But there's so many people whose minds aren't that strong and they are out there looking for, for that. They're out there looking for that. And they're not finding it. And it's ruining their lives. It's ruining their relationships. And they're out there paying for it now. That's why you have stuff like um, um, OnlyFans. The world is getting darker and darker and darker. I'm following um, a few people um, that I grew up with. And I see some of the things that, that are shared. And uh, whew, it will blow your mind. The fact that anybody, anyone has access to the stuff that's on free networks, free platforms, it will blow your freaking mind. No, 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 no. You probably already know. But it's horrible. It, it don't make you a better person. As a matter of fact, just praise report, I don't watch nearly as much porn as I used to. But like when I used to probably like watch it like once a week, maybe once a month now, like a treat, you know? I'm, I'm gonna listen. One day it's gonna be none, none. You know what I mean? It's gonna be none one day. I right? I'm working on myself, and I know you're working on yourself too. So I'm proud of you. Hopefully you're proud of me. Right, and it's funny you ask those questions, and they're very important to answer. Has it made men stronger? Has it made families stronger? Well, that was the point, right? The feminist movement is has nothing to do with women. It has nothing to do with trying to help women at all. They just like to still use the word feminism so that you can't attack it, right? Or else you're a sexist and you hate women. Um, but in reality, it's actually harming women and it's harming families. And the reason for that is because it helps the government. And at the end of the day, uh, if mm. in order for a government to grow in the capacity mm. that it wants to grow and to be it omnipotent does. in our lives, it needs to make sure that it is routinely denigrating the idea of the nuclear family unit, which stands in the way of a government and omnipotence. And so that's what we're seeing and that's what we're talking about on the show. Pay attention to the various ways that they are attacking the family. It's through pornography. You know, when I was in school, and this is a really uh, horrible thing now that I'm looking at it in the retrospect, in health class, we learned that partaking in pornography as in as, as a observer of pornography, watching porn was a healthy thing. I learned about this in health class. It's a good thing for your relationship for you to sit in a room, do something shameful and observe other people having sex on the internet. I learned that. Think about what that really says about the state of things in school. You know, now that I'm an adult, I wanna make sure that I'm having these conversations for young people to know that that's actually not correct. What you're learning in the public school system is not correct. And what they're trying to do is create you, and turn you into basically a government slave because your family Families will be ruined and you will have nothing, in, in my opinion. Uh, you'll look around, you'll say, my life is, is, has nothing of real substance and of real value. I think it's an attack on Christianity, but that's just me. Because that's, uh, that's I, it's, I think it's an attack on Christianity. It's trying to get us, um, it's trying to train us to not judge situations to think that every situation and every person in every situation um, is good because we've all fallen short of the glory of God. People say that all the time. You're not perfect. Um, only person perfect is is God. And, and you know, so they tie that in to these acts and and it, it, it causes us to um, to accept them because we're bullied into accepting them. Like when you see a little girl doing grown up dances on the internet, right? You see a little girl doing grown up dances because they're doing it all the time. Sometimes they're doing it with their parents because we think it's cute. That's how we are right now. Um, they're doing these grown up dances and everything. And we're like, what in the world are y'all doing? And then someone will say, I've seen this many times. They will say, well, sex is only taboo to Americans in Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica. And all, they start naming all these countries where these type of sexual movements are expected and taught at an extremely young age in Africa. Um, extremely 
young age, many countries in Africa. Uh, but that's what I'm talking about, man. It's like, so after a while, you feel bad for even saying anything negative about somebody doing these type of things. But if you're a thinking person, you can see where it's effing up society. You can see where it's messing up your household. Well, it's not messing up your household, but if it's messing up, um, if it's messing up the top, it's going to get down to the bottom. And if the head is being messed up from it, if government is being messed up from it, it's going to touch your household. It's going to touch your home. It is like your, 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 your significant other, the person that you have your eyes on, the person that you want to date, they're going to be expecting all of those things that they see on the internet from you and either you're going to be, and you're never going to be able to fully satisfy them at all, at all. We see if we don't have peace of mind, we're never going to be fully satisfied. Like it's, it's, and, and I know I already told y'all that I watched porn here and there, you know what I mean? And it's my relationship with God that's pulling me away from it. He's taking the taste. He, you know, when you, when you pray to God for something, he listens. And if you ask him to remove the taste out of your mouth, he will. <laughs> I'm starting to see that firsthand uh, from many things, many things, because God is that type of um, being. He's going to take care of us. Like if you know that we need help with something, we ask for help for something, the help will come. A lot of people don't want help because they are enjoying this wild, wild west. They are enjoying the fact that they can do whatever they want, say whatever they want, um, be what they want, make up a gender that they are today, be something else tomorrow, and have the support from the government to even do it. Okay, they having a nerd conversation. I can't get with that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't I don't know how what they're talking about right now. Um, feel free to check it out. The original link will be in the descriptions. Um, and and don't forget, guys, I want y'all to go check out Blue Monster Prep for me. Um, check it out. Just let me know what you think. You don't have to purchase anything. Y'all do enough for the channel. If you do want to purchase something, though, make sure you put in code LFR. That's for Blue Monster Prep. If you purchase in hats and shirts, though, at hatsforsale.com, you put in the code LFR10 for 10% off and free shipping, okay? So, um... That's pretty much all I have. I believe I probably told y'all too much, but I'm not gonna edit it out because um, I think y'all are gonna. I think y'all are gonna. Um, um, y'all not gonna judge. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I've been wrong before many times. But hey, y'all, let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Ban, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.